Hey, real quick, I'm just wondering, are there any men with the mind of a woman but does not have a vagina? Because I'm severely attracted to men, just not their brains. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and there. I'm just, I'm wondering. I'm not ready to be a full-blown lesbian. I could barely blow up balloons. I don't use my mouth well, other than to talk. Um, the point is, like a new species of men, they say we're not accountable. Go out of his way. I didn't, I didn't understand. You gonna lie? At least when you back a woman into a corner, she just give up. She just, she, at least I do. I can't, I never been with a woman. I don't really know what a woman do when she's not being accountable. But the women I know and the woman I am, when you back us into a corner, all right, yeah, you got it. You don't even got to back me into a corner, honestly. But I'm just saying, like, at least women just stop. Like, okay, shit don't make sense. Let me just stop. Men, it don't matter if it don't make any sense. What Kevin Hart say? He said he was late to work because a deer bro was chasing him. Late for work without an excuse. They show up, take full responsibility. Hey. I'm sorry I'm late. It'll never happen again. I overslept. I apologize. It's irresponsible on my behalf. If I do it again, fire me. I respect people that can do that. Because I can't do that because I'm a fucking liar. I am. If I'm late, something happened. I don't give a shit. Something drastic happened. Yo, dude. Sorry I'm late. I was on the highway and the fucking baby was running on the highway. Yeah, I know, right? Shit's crazy. So I get out the car. I start chasing the baby. In my mind, I'm like, why are you running, baby? That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But I'm like, what do you do? Because I can't just grab the baby and throw the baby in the car. That's kidnapping. I fuck around, go to jail. I got a little butt. I'll get raped. I know they will fucking rape me in jail. I ain't trying to get raped. So I had to make a decision. I was like, shit, what do I do? So I decided to adopt the baby. What I did was I downloaded this app on my iPhone, this adopt the baby app, right? I put the barcode on the baby head. Boop. That way the baby knew he was my baby. I put the baby in the car, I go to pull off, I turn around, a deer was running towards the car. So I'm like, oh shit, this deer is about to eat the baby. That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But then I look closer, I noticed the front part of the deer was a deer, the back half was a zebra. It was half deer, half zebra. So I'm like, oh shit, it's a deer, bro. Like, that's what I'm thinking. It's a fucking deer, bro. So I call a zoo, I'm like, yo, it's a fucking Debra out here on the highway. He was like, what's that? I was like, have dare, have zebra. He was like, did you just make that up? I was like, I think so. Um, he said, well, bring it down. So I get down there, he sees it. He's like, oh shit, it's have dare, have zebra. I said, that's what I was trying to tell you on the phone. It's a deer, bro. He was like, okay, what do you want? Do you want money for it? I said, no, I don't have that type of time. I got to get back to the car because my new son is in the car by himself. So I get back to the car. Turns out the baby that I thought was a baby wasn't a baby. It was a grown-ass man with Benjamin Button disease. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you how I figured this out. I figured this out. When I got to the car, the baby woke up. I was like, hey. I'm your new dad, I just adopted you. He was like, you ain't my dad, bitch. I'm 65. I said, God damn. He said, I got a disease. I was like, you got that Benjamin Button. He was like, where's my dear, bruh? I said, I knew that was a fucking dear, bruh. I knew it was. I just took it to the zoo. He was like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to get home? I said, you ride that motherfucker, man? Y'all just feel like because it comes out your mouth, then it's just, is out your mouth. I said it, so you, if you can't prove it, then oh well. What's wrong with you? Why you, why is that your mindset? If you ain't, if you can't, if you don't got evidence, your honor. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't, I shouldn't need to force you or provide evidence for you to be honest and accountable. Ugh. It's only two things a man got that I want and that I need. None of which is above his motherfucking shoulder. Anyway. <laughs> so sorry, you guys, but you have to pardon my frustration. I just, I feel like I'm being forced to be a lesbian. It's just like, so there's not one contender worthy. <laughs> like, what's happening? I don't like it. And it's not that I'm. Like, I have no homophobia, 
I have been with women on more than one occasion. It was an awesome experience, but it's just like, so all of the men are trash and I'm forced to marry a vagina? No, no, no. And, and I am not perfect, not perfect, but it's just like, is there no one <laughs> is there no one? I, I, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to. This is this is day one on the road to 15 cats. I promise you. Let the record show. I also love Kevin Hart, and this is one of the stand-ups that made me fall in love with him. I love him. No shade to him, but um, even he said he was a liar. Like he be lying. Hello, Tori. No. And Nico, no, we know. Shit. <laughs>